Hey everyone, Miles J here, and right now I'm with my best friend. Daddy. We even got little matching neck Domo necklaces. If I can pick it out of the thousand necklaces I have on, it's really cute looking. Right now I'm getting ready to do her makeup. I just bought her a whole bunch of makeup, and we're just gonna put it all on her face. Not all of it, but like some of it on her face. She gets to keep like the brushes and stuff, like the elf brushes that we got. Yeah, it should be awesome, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it, like watching this. Now let's remove the glasses and show the true beauty. Mm. I can't see. Give the camera the sexiest face. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just going to push her hair out of the way so that way we can get started. Now for my friend Daphne's face, I'm just going to use a light primer because her face is already pretty much flawless. She's got some really good skin. So I don't want to mess it up by putting too much on of everything. We're just going to go for a ni nice light natural look, contrary to my own. Then I'm gonna pop this concealer on to brighten up her under eye area and to also get rid of some of the redness that's on her face. And don't forget to blend, blend, blend. I know y'all probably worried about her corneas because my ring fingernails are so long, but she fine, y'all. And voila, flawless. Now I'm just going to add a bit of this foundation just to bring the look all together and to finish it up. Then once the foundation is on, I just patted her face with some powder so that way it would move around and it stay looking good all day. Now I'm just gonna brush her brows into place and fill them in a bit with this eyebrow pencil. Now taking this light pink color, I'm going to use it as a base all over her lips. After that's done, I'm just going to blend in a light brown into her crease. This line will create a natural look of depth in her eyes. Now to match her personality, I'm just going to use this super sweet pink color on her lips. This is going to be that extra pop of color that gets her through the day. And I added a bit of lip gloss to make her lips look nice and juicy. Juicy, sweet, plump, juicy, sweet DSL. Now my homegirl really hates liquid eyeliner, so I decided to get her some brown gel liner. It's really easy on the eyes, really easy to apply and blend. So it's a good first start for her. As for the next step, that's a whole different story. She is absolutely terrified of eyelash curlers. <laughs> now that the hard part's over with, we can get to the mascara. Mascara is typically not her thing. She doesn't really like it, but we did it just for, you know, because I was in town and happened to be here, so. Then I added a little bit of highlights to her nose bridge, her cupid's bow, and to the high points of her cheeks. Followed by some light contouring in the hollows of her cheeks. Dawn. And this is the final look. I also styled her hair in this twisted knot braid thing, which I'm sure I got from BubsBeauty.com. And then when she took it out at night, marvelous curls cascaded down her back. It was amazing, and I'm pretty sure I'll never be able to do it again. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been me, Miles J, and Daphne, and I hope you guys enjoyed.